so here's Project Wraith um, installing a new servo. I kind of just have it placed there right now. So here, here we go. It's a solar servo. It's an inexpensive, but it's very high torque. So it's a great value um, right there. Solar D772. And I usually get these servos from hobbyparts.com. That's parts is with a Z at the end, P-A-R-T-Z, hobbyparts.com. So I've got to adjust the toe right now with the links. It's a little bit toe, the toe, it's got a toe in. So I want to adjust the links first before I install the arm going into the servo. So now I've gotten that ready. So I've got that done. I've set the toe in. Now I've zeroed out the trims. Um, so that way I'm in neutral. I programmed it. Here's my FlySky remote. <coughs> so everything's set to zero, all the trims. And then now I'm going to attach the arms, powering it up. Okay, so now here, I'm tightening up the screw, I've attached the servo arm. Uh, I'm not installing a aluminum one yet. This is just a plastic one that the solar servo came with. Um, it's been fairly strong. I haven't really had a lot of problems with it, so I'll keep that for now. Tighten up the screws, but just not too tight, just till it's snug because I have it threaded in. I threaded in three millimeter thread into that plastic arm and then I'm putting, attach the screw. And then now I'm gonna install the arm onto the servo. I wanted to waterproof the servo first or at least put a coating on it, but I wanted to get, get it running and out and do a trial run today on this video. So. I might have to do that on a different, on another update. So, placing it in, I've got the servo zeroed out um, into the middle so that when I attach my arm, I don't have to play much. I might have to reset the trim a little bit after I get everything in place, but at least for now, set this in. <coughs> 